Hello, Dr. Panchavag. You have been successfully running this MVD surgery and research center and conducted more than 700 surgeries for hemifacial spasm in the last 25 years. As I was speaking to your counselors here at the center here in Pune, I realized that there were certain questions that patients keep asking repeatedly. For you as a doctor or as a surgical team, some of them may appear very commonplace, but for the patient, these are very important questions that they want answered. Sure, sure. We would be happy if you could give us the answers to some of these. So your coordinator was telling me that you've performed more than 2,700 or so MVD surgeries, out of which nearly 700 of them are for hemifacial spasm. That's a fantastic number considering that you've been doing very single-minded work in this. Yeah, it is a large number and we could reach here because of our focus. Hemifacial spasm is something that actually plays havoc in patients' lives. It causes a lot of agony, mental agony, as well as physical agony. Twitching of the eyelid is a very common experience and I think uh, there would be hardly any person who would not have, you know, experienced some minor twitches at times, right? If the intensity of the spasms, like this, initially if it is like this, like this, and then intensity keeps on increasing, mm -hmm. also the amplitude goes on increasing, frequency increases, then it is bothersome. It is generally progressive without doubt, okay? Uh, all the cases of neurovascular conflict like trigeminal neuralgia, mm -hmm. hemifacial spasm, mm -hmm. glossopharyngeal neuralgia, you will hear anecdotal case mm -hmm. that this just vanished and then it is made as if made into a rule, you know, mm -hmm. while talking to people, some doctors tell them Ki these things can go away on their own. No, they don't. They don't go away. Mm. It is true that they can go in hibernation. Mm. It is called as spasm holiday. Mm. There is a word for it. Mm. If a person has spasms, mm. spasms happen because of the compression of the vessel on the nerve. Mm. Okay, in those cases I am speaking, mm. which are 99% plus. Mm. Other rare causes we are not considering at mm. present. Mm. When this is happening, you know, the blood vessel causes demyelination of the nerve. Body initially tries to repair that demyelination and form new myelin sheath on the nerve. Mm. So there is repair. Okay. Now, when body is successful in repairing, for some time the spasms go away. Mm. And we call this spasm holiday. Mm. In case of trigeminal neuralgia, we call this as pain holiday. So, it is a holiday from the problem. This holiday can extend for few weeks, months, in some cases one or two years. And these are the cases which the doctors or you know neurologists, I don't know, they see and they say, oh, they, they can disappear on their own. No, they don't. They come up, come back. There can, in some patients, there can be a long holiday. I have met people who had trigeminal neuralgia. Then one day it disappeared because body, you know, uh, formed a cover over the nerve mm. and uh, the pain disappeared for nearly six, seven years, but came back mm. and then increased rapidly mm. and we had to operate on him. So don't mistake this holiday for disappearance of this problem. Mm. You know why I'm th making this, you know, point so strongly is that uh, some years back I met a very senior neurologist and he was telling me, you know what, these problems go away on their own, why treat them? Mm -hmm. You know, I was taken aback, you know, because we have seen hundreds of patients of hemifacial spasm. Hundreds more than hemifacial spasm, we have seen trigeminal neuralgia because it is more common. Mm -hmm. I have not seen it going away. There may be an anecdotal case mm. where this happens. Plus, but please don't spread such, I tell my counselors, please don't spread such or encourage such misconceptions being spread amongst people. It is just not true. Mm. So I was talking to this patient who has come from Delhi. This morning you operated on him. He was telling me, uh, being a professor, he probably had paid a lot of attention to what was going wrong with him. 
and he was telling me that initially the first year or so he had spasms coming to him maybe just few times in a day yes and then there were weeks when he had nothing so when the spasms went away he thought that now the disease has gone away for good correct but eventually it came back and then he also noticed that the spasms were more in the morning lesser later on and then when he started having the lectures they is used to increase so there are waxing and waning but it never goes away zero for a prolonged period of time this is what they've got to expect if it's a classical hypophysis there are spasm. varying patterns of these spasms mm. some people get few spasms for many months some pe- in some people there is very rapid increase in the severity of the spasms mm. in some people the rate of increase of the severity is very slow mm. or in between there is a holiday or gap mm. in some people i have operated on a person whose spasms started and became very severe within 4 months correct and so this can though it is rare mm. i mean this, this type of you know time pattern is rare but it can happen mm. it can happen mm. so we have seen all these varieties you know over the period of time and but i have not seen spasms going away so yeah he was also telling me uh, you know that he had tried taking magnesium supplements or calcium supplements yeah, correct yeah. initially people try everything nothing mm. wrong but mm. then, uh, so naturopathy and all that but he gave up because he realized within a few weeks itself that none of this was helping him so he realized that he has to take the next uh, step and decide correct. about doing something more permanent correct correct yeah thank you thank you very much thank you